And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the Mighty 1090 Studios with Mr. Bill Shedd and Don Trojan. We're talking CCA today. Of course, Bill Shedd from AFCO here. Uh, Don's a big supporter of fishing and a hardcore fishing guy, too. And then we're going to have a host of superstars in the sport fishing industry calling in today to talk about this new organization. Stay tuned. It's going to be an action-packed two hours. Let's talk hook up Southern California sport fishing voice on the Mighty 1090. The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel at the Fred Hall Shows. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S-compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and has tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of fast models. The new Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross carbon drag, providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel. It has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easier to crank in the big fish. The new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HG is the next evolution in a compact, rigid, and powerful saltwater star drag reel. Get it at the Fred Hall Show and your local Shimano dealers. I am an angler, a heroic defender of the noble sport of fishing. When I go out with my crew, we're prepared for everything, from itty-bitty mosquitoes to the biggest bass you've ever seen. Not to mention, we all wear life jackets. And with this year's drought conditions, we're also defending every last drop of water, saving lives and saving water, because the best defense is a good offense. Just don't tell the fish that. Take your hero quiz at BoatCalifornia.com. A message from the California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. It's Fred Hall Show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. The best selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including a complete selection of AFCO clothing. No one has a better selection of AFCO clothing for kids and adults than Fisherman's Landing Tackle. A must visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. The offshore fishing last year was some of the best we've seen in years. Let's hope our luck keeps up in 2015. It's a brand new year, and what better way to kick off a new year than with a new Ford? Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. It's easy to see why Ford is so popular. Styling is contemporary, the technology is state-of-the-art, and the fuel economy is more impressive than ever. Fusion, Focus, and Escape continue to be San Diego favorites, and the new Mustang has the entire city buzzing. You've got to check it out. Right now, you'll find the biggest savings on F-150 pickups. The last of the 2014 models are going fast. And talk about popular, Ford F-Series has been America's best-selling truck and a favorite among fishermen for almost four decades. In fact, a new F-Series truck is sold every 43 seconds. Imagine catching a fish every 43 seconds. You'd be popular, too. Start the new year in style. Stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. What a cool show we're yeah. going to have today. This is an I'm important, excited. This is such an important show for everybody out yeah. there. All of our listeners, you really want to pay attention here today and participate and call and ask questions because this is uh, this is our future we're talking about here. Yeah. This is the future of fishing. And uh, we're very honored to have Mr. Bill Shedd from AFCO in the studio. Good morning, Bill. Hi, Bill. Morning. Glad to be here. Hi, guys. Uh, all right. And a guy who's done a tremendous amount of Four fishermen in Southern California, kind of from the background here. Uh, Don Trojan. Good morning, Don. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. Thank yeah. you. Of course, Don's uh, also a pretty hardcore fisherman. And uh, once in a while, you take uh, guys like Ricky or Bill and other guys out fishing on your beautiful boat, Absolutely. Right? No, yeah. we uh, we enjoy that most of all, taking guests out and 
especially the guys with lots of experience like Bill and Ricky, and just turn it all over to them and learn as much as you can and stay in the background. And that's uh, no, we do a lot of that, and we've had the pleasure of having a lot of lot of fun guests on the boat. Indeed, and we uh, take we take a family a shed family fishing trip every year with Don. And oh, really? Lots of uh, calico bass contests and lots of fishing <laughs> and shoving and lots, lots of fun. Fun, fun rivalry there, yeah. Fun stuff. Spend a little time over in Catalina and the Outer Islands and stuff like that. Exactly right. Yeah, we've gone everywhere, uh, you know, from the local stuff to fishing with Ricky off the beach down in Mexico all the way down to Cabo. Yeah, yeah. fun stuff. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. And that's what we're talking about today is continuing that fun exactly. and family participation by allowing access to these waters uh, because... Believe it or not, people are trying to take that away from us. <laughs> I think uh, at this point believe, we all believe that. <laughs> yeah, hard to believe that somebody wants to spoil family fun, but they are. Yep. And they're out there. And uh, Bill Shedd, you've been involved with uh, various organizations and, and kind of led the, the, the fight, shall we say, in keeping our fishing rights. Well, there's been lots of folks involved, and that's kind of the beauty of our uh, community. There's lots of people that love fishing and want to help, and I had a dad that... Uh, just from our early, early, early years, uh, impressed upon me the importance to, you know, look for ways to find ways to give back to the ocean and to, and to the fishing community, and I, I enjoy doing it. Yeah, Milt Shed was the pioneer, shall we say, right? He was. He was before his time when he started yeah. SeaWorld. The year before he started SeaWorld, uh, he started what's now the Hub SeaWorld Research Institute. So that was 50 years ago. So for somebody 50 years ago to be thinking about giving back from a business that wasn't even started yet. SeaWorld didn't start until 64, and he had the what's now the Hub SeaWorld Research Institute incorporated and up doing research projects in 1963. So that, that, that's pretty unique, um, really not done before, I think, in the history of the world to, uh, to have a, a, an entity that gives back to the community before the for-profit business is actually in existence. So it's, uh, he was a unique guy. That's Indeed. Cool. And yeah. think about where... He, we've gone today with Hub Sea World we should introduce, right? Well, the, the the White Sea Bass Program we all know so much about, and that's uh, um, you know we're all enjoying the, the the great fishing of White Sea Bass, and that's due to, to to recreational fishermen getting rid of the gill nets, yeah, and recreational fishermen supporting and helping to fund this White Sea Bass Program and the relationship with Hub. So. Recreational anglers all over the country have really been the, the marine conservationists in this country. Absolutely. And, and, and a, a, a classic example of that is this donation that uh, Dick Lobb's widow uh, just gave to Hub SeaWorld recently. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's awesome. And that's a uh, you know, great role for the, the CCA that we're going to talk about here. And it's, yeah. it's the, the number one first uh, um, project and, uh, and goal of the CCA of, of California uh, is, is to support... Um, Hubs in its effort to expand uh, the white sea bass program to other fish, and that's really made possible in large part because of this uh, this contribution from 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 Dorothy Lobb, um, Dick's wife, of nine hundred thousand dollars. It's uh, it's yeah. huge, and so all of us fishermen, um, you know, we can re- we need to remember Dick and thank him, and uh, those of you guys that knew him, Ricky and I, I know you knew him. Guy that just loved to fish, and what a great way to remember a great man. Not not that anybody should be measured by. You know, and anything other than just who they are. But I never knew Dick was in a position to do anything like that because when I was in a, when I was a kid working in the tackle store, especially when you know it was in high school tying albacore feathers, Dick would come in all the time. He always had a golden retriever with him. The dog would jump up in the counter. And we always had a box of milk bones. We give him, and he would he would be in and buying albacore feathers and tying jigs. And you would never know that anybody was not that you know again not that you're saying you should ever measure somebody by their wealth or anything. But he's just a regular guy, a fishing a guy that guy. loved it, yeah. and he would go fishing on his Blackman every day and. And just the coolest of people, and uh, it, it, yeah, a pretty, pretty cool guy to get to know, and what a, what a thing that we're all going to get to share and benefit, and what an awesome thing that Dorothy was able to do, and yeah. just awesome. So if if we're going to be able to, and the goal there, and what uh, what Hubs is wanting to do is to take what we've learned from the White Sea Bass Program, and uh, and see what other fish we might be able to apply that to. So you know, might it be halibut, might it be yellowtail, might it be calico bass? There's uh, lots of opportunities to, to take a look. Uh, but in order for that to succeed, you have to have several things that happen. One, you've got to have the money to pioneer it and to help make it happen. And um, uh, this contribution from, from Dorothy in honor of her late husband, Dick, Dick Lobb, that uh, really helps to make that happen. And um, the early seed money that came from uh, uh, an, 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 a sport fisherman that wants to remain anonymous and, and also from uh, s- some money from AFCO and some money from Frank Lepresti, and not just Frank Lepresti, but from all of his landings, including all of his partners, and you, Ricky, now as a partner in Fisherman's Landing, you contributed, and, and, and thank you. But uh, this, 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 this amount from, uh, from, from, uh, uh, from the Lobb family, it, uh, it funds us through um, 
2017. And, um, but in order for it to work, you need the money. Okay, we now have the money. Uh, you need somebody with the ability to, uh, to do the science. We have that with hubs. What now is needed is uh, the public to help push this through the Fish and Game Department and uh, well, Fish and Wildlife Department now and the Coastal Commission and others, and that's what the CCA is going to do. That's where help this hubs. ties in to the CCA. So what is the CCA, Bill? Okay, the CCA is the, it's the largest uh, uh, recreational fishing group in the country. been around since 1978, uh, started in Houston, Texas really around a gillnet ban. They had the same kind of problems that we have, and gillnets were destroying their resource, and, and they got rid of them. Well, they've expanded, uh, you know, through 17 states, uh, very successful, um, uh, an organized entity that's been able to sort of live, live long, as many other organizations haven't been able to survive over time. They have, and um, uh, really timing was right. They were anxious to get into California now. Uh, we were anxious to have an entity in, in place now, and... Um, so it just the stars sort of lined up. Yeah. And, and so I, now I have to ask Don a question. Mm-hmm. Don, the, you look at the, the board of directors, and there's uh, 25 um, notable figures on the board of directors uh, uh, in the fishing industry. And it's kind of like a who's who of the fishing industry today. Don, you're just a you're just fisherman. I'm just what, an outsider what, looking in. I'm yeah, proud, what, proud to be inside what, that room. Why are you involved? Well, I'm involved because Bill asked me to be, which is always a pretty good, uh, a <laughs> pretty good starting a, yeah. point. But the truth is, I'm involved because I've um, I've always loved recreational fishing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been doing it since my dad took me and my three brothers out from the time we were, you know, four and five years old, and we didn't have as many uh, restrictions and such as we have today. Uh, my dad was also uh, coincidentally one of the ones that was granted a. Um, a permit to catch the brood stock for the white sea bass program, so we got to participate in that. And I've always had a love of fishing. Bill explained to me that one of the, because of the very good organization that we have with CCA, one of their requirements was to have a CPA, preferably as the treasurer. And uh, so I agreed to serve in that role with past experience in nonprofits. And I walk into the room, and it's just as you said, Pete, it's the absolute who's who of the sport fishing community and uh, very humbling to be around that, that group. Um, I've got uh, yeah. Read read off the names yeah. of the yeah, 25 I've got, board uh, members. The list of the board members there, and a lot of these names will be recognizable. Of course, our chairman of the board is Bill Shedd. Our vice chairman is Dave Pfeiffer. Myself as treasurer, and then um, Ollie Husseini from Bloody Decks as our um, as our uh, secretary. Other members: Bart Hall, Mike Lum, Bob Fletcher, Bob Hoos, Kathy Needleman, Bill Buchanan, Dave Bacon. Dave Elm, Don Hansen, Drew Lawler, Duncan McIntosh, a lot of publishers in here, Harold Davis, Jim Salazar, Jock Albright, Ken Eli, Louis Zim, Merritt McRae, Western Outdoor News, Peter Gray, our humble leader today, <laughs> Tommy Gomes, Tracy Milton, and Winnie Tochihara. So a very impressive list there. Yeah, a very impressive list, and, and, and assembled because we all care for the Absolutely. future of our sport and the future of fishing here. And and so when the CC, so when CCA came into the mind, this, is, this organization is a proven national organization, and that's kind of why we're tying in with them, right? Yeah, absolutely. And they've, um, uh, their, 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 their goals fit in with our, our, our basic goal is really to be conserving the resource and anglers' access to it. That fits in right in with what they've, uh, for 30-some years, have uh, have successfully done, and um, they've got a great track record, um, well respected around the country and known. And a number of us that, that, that originally were involved in a small group that kind of conceived this um, have had a chance to work uh, work with CCA and other states, and just to you know know their credibility and clout and and, and capability. Right. One of the things that makes this um, so workable for California is we, you know we got a problem here in that um, the state is so spread out, and fisheries issues in Northern California are very different than fisheries issues in Southern California. Um, but we've got one legislature, we've got one Fish and Wildlife, we've got one Coastal Commission, and you can't effectively impact those entities just from Southern California, just from Northern California. So the structure of the CCA, the way that it works is they develop chapters they, in, in cities, in counties, and ultimately, while currently the focus is, is Southern California, always the focus will be saltwater because that's the focus of CCA, but the ultimate goal is to prove it in Southern California and then expand chapters into Northern California so that we can impact the entire state. You said some two very, very important things for our listeners. Number one, 
focus on CCA is saltwater. Which a lot, mm-hmm. Most of our anglers are, are salt, starting out as saltwater fishermen, right? Uh, number two, focus on Southern California issues, which there's a lot of issues here. There, there are. And, um, and we said a third important thing, which is, which is chapters. So let's talk about, about that for, for a minute. Now. Yeah. And your listeners are going to want to know, okay, so there, geez, there's all these uh, folks from the, from the industry that are stepping up. And, and I can just tell you, Ricky, Pete, that the, having been involved in some of these efforts in the past, never, ever have I seen such a uh, wide group of uh, key people within the community industry, not just, not just industry people, but key anglers and, uh, you know, interested, anxious to want to step up. And yeah. So, yeah. And Pat, Pat Murray, who's going to call in later, who's the president of National, uh, he'll tell us that he's just not ever seen a, a start for one of their CCA state chapters like uh, we have in California. Because we a, need it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the people are after yeah, us. Yeah, everybody's here. ready to get behind something. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what, Pete, that's a great comment. One of the things I like to say is having been through this before and such, that with the organization that CCA National brings to us, the strong procedures, the network they've set up, the management, the sound financial structure we benefit from, and this incredible board of directors, it's going to be a formidable force. Yes, and, right. And um, good thing for the anglers in Southern California, because if I was on the opposition, this one is – you know, one that I would stand up and take notice of. Yeah, yep. you bet. Uh, you can bet they're listening. Right I'm now. sure they are. That's okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that's okay. What are you doing? And a guy they really should fear right now is on the phone, and that's Harold Davis, because this guy does a lot to protect anglers' rights. Good morning, Harold. Hi, Harold. Hey, hey, hey Harold. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm doing fine. I'm up here in beautiful foggy Morro Bay today. Foggy Morro Bay. That means the wind's foggy. not blowing. Yeah, the wind's not blowing. Hey, listen. Uh, great kickoff to this thing. And I'm going to echo Bill sentiments. The the outpouring into this is just amazing. Never been associated with any group that has the firepower behind it and the willingness to go forward and all the people pitching in to make this thing go forward. So really, I guess it boils down. If you're not going to be part of the answer, you could be part of the problem. <laughs> or you can't be part of the solution, or you're not going to be part of the fishing future. And I think the fishing future in this state and I think everybody has to admit it, uh, is going to take some sort of effort because there's other people that are putting effort to stop you from fishing. And in order to do so, we need to get together with an organization, like Bill said, has National Cloud and has the ability to go through the state, not just one little local area, and make an impact on our ability to fish. So the organization is coming. The organization is here. And we would like you to be part of the organization. And we got a couple of different ways to do it. Um, just to become a member of CCA is $30 a year. And in $30 a year, you're going to end up getting uh, prize-winning magazines and lots of information to get you started. And as we get bigger here, more information in that quarterly will be printed. Secondly is we have lifetime memberships. And some people are going to go, well, this isn't really for me. But I'm going to give the pitch anyway. Uh, A lifetime membership starts at $1,000. We have $1,000, $5,000, and $10,000 increments. And the person that says $1,000, you know, I'm 60 years old. If it's going to cost me $30 a year, I'm never going to see a payback on this. Well, maybe you're not looking for a payback. Maybe you're looking for the future for your kids, for your grandkids, or just you're so passionate about the sport you want to pay it forward. And so we do have a limited lifetime membership, no dues for the rest of your life program at a thousand dollars. And if you're interested in doing that, uh, please feel free to call me. You can contact me through the web on the Davis Boats website and I'll give you all the information or you can go right to the CCA website at this particular time. You can send it right to CCA mate to check out the CCA of California and that bank account will go right straight to this local entity that we're starting, um, and it is a 501c3. So if you are a business, they're not going to sign you up as a business. The credit's going to be taken personally, but the check can be written off as a donation to a 501c3. Yeah, and join cca.org is the, the website, and we're going to expand that, right, Bill? Yeah, and, and there'll be, by the, it's, not, it's not up yet, but there'll be a California section to that site, that national site, uh, prior to the prior to the Fred Hall show, 
and, and as we mentioned, Fred Hall's show, that is the big kickoff to the CCA. Some of this information here is sort of the precursor to that, but uh, the number one goal of our, of our board here for the last several months has been to, uh, you know, put together that kickoff. And, Harold, uh, thank you for the help that you, you've, you've been in that effort. Yeah, and you're going to hear later on in the show, too, about the incredible incentives that uh, many, many people have put forth uh, to encourage you to uh, spend that small amount of money to join CCA, including free admission to the show. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk about it more later, but $50 is going to get you admission to the show. It's going to get you membership to the, to the, uh, to the CCA, and it's going to get you $150 worth of not just uh, uh, discounts, but actual cash in hand to spend it at booths at show. So yeah. we'll talk more about it later. It's, it's, this, is a, this is a big deal. Yeah. Harold, thank you for your participation. You'll be at the show, right? Yes, I will. All right, and you're going to be working the CCA booth, as, uh, among other things? Yeah, yeah, among other things, I will be in the CCA booth. <laughs> All right. I, Carol, I, kind of, he, I think Carol's just kind of the man about town at the Fred Hall show, right? You know, he's going to be all over the place. The mover and shaker. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good show. Thanks, Harold. All right, thanks, Harold. Thanks, Appreciate Harold. the participation. Well, as you can hear, we've just got an awesome show today, and what great information. How lucky are we to have these two guys sitting here to tell us all about CCA? And just like you heard with Harold, there's going to be a lot of great people joining us on the show this morning, talking great information, talking fishing, and we want to talk fishing with you this morning, too. If you'd like to call, we'd love to have you participate in the show this morning. If you have a question of Bill and Don, question about CCA, question about fishing, we want to hear from you this morning, and there's two ways that you can reach us on Let's Talk Hookup. First is with our local line, which is 858 area code, 457-1090. 457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090. It's open right now. Or you can reach us on our toll-free number. That one's 877-792-1090. One more time, 877-792-1090. That's going to be your shot to get through to Let's Talk Hookup. And not only are we going to be talking about this great organization today, we've also got a fantastic prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today. That's an AFTCO Alejos belt and a pair of AFCO long-range short pump gloves. And, again, thanks to our good friends up at AFCO for you know, making it possible to give away that great prize. I love that AFCO Alejos that belt. That Alejos belt, man. I, is Greg designed that? You designed that? No, Greg, Greg absolutely. Greg, yeah. Greg, that's, uh, that that is, all the credit goes to him there. That is the best day belt you can get. Period. C- can, I, can I step in on something here sure. and, and add to your package? And then, in addition, we'd like to, uh, if I can do it ad, ad hoc here, add a, a $100 gift certificate to... Uh, AFCO clothing, any AFCO clothing you'd like to buy. Wow. AFCO.com. Wow. How cool is that? Can I step nice. in and do that in the middle <laughs> yeah, well, of the, well, we'll how about the check? <laughs> but, you know, how about this? Let's add to that, too, and let's throw in two tickets to the Fred Hall Long Beach or Del Mar show. Awesome. There how we about go. that, oh, huh? Great. Yeah. Like Christmas all over again. A, yeah. So one lucky caller is going to win awesome. one heck of a pie. Nice very, very cool. Yeah. Well, as you heard, there are going to be an awesome show, great information. We just want you to be a part of it. Again, if you want to get through, participate in the show this morning, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Tons of great stuff coming your way. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Love and fish. If you've heard the advice Scott Sherman from Fifth Avenue Insurance has given anglers over the past couple of years, you know there is much more to your boat insurance than just a low rate. Well, Fifth Avenue Insurance can not only find you the lowest rates on your boat insurance, they also make sure the coverage you get meets all your needs. What if you had an accident with the boat and found out you didn't have proper coverage? Well, that just won't happen when you insure with Fifth Avenue Insurance. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Fifth Avenue Insurance, 619-640-3130, or check the number 5, T-H-A-V-E-I-N-S dot com. Your hook is one of the most important parts of your fishing tackle, and that is why you should use the hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation. Gamakatsu, as Japan's leading hook manufacturer and growing at an amazing pace, Gamakatsu is responsible for introducing a unique tempering process to give Gamakatsu hooks superior strength and durability. Plus, the conically needle-honed points stay sharp. Gamakatsu offers a hook for every fishing situation, including the finest one-piece ringed hooks, light wire, standard, and heavy duty live bait hooks and the popular Nautilus circle hooks. Get Gamakatsu hooks at your favorite tackle store and stay connected to that fish of a lifetime. Cast Tours is a family owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. 
Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. For Rancho Llanero, here's John Ireland. At Rancho Llanero, very seldom are we going to send out any more than 15 or 20 boats at one time or one day. And because the ranch has two specific bait guys, everyone gets bait, everyone gets their boat. The stress level is way down at the ranch. We make it as easy as we can make it. From the meals right on down the line, and very few decisions over the day. And, you know, we've got the Wi-Fi Internet now, and everybody can get on if they want and access their email or, or not. We've, uh, we've been working on the ranch continually. You know, I did a half a million dollar renovation, upgrading the hotel, the bar. So we're working at it. And the most important thing is just our guests and taking care of them. We really appreciate them. So every guest that comes through gets special attention. We make sure they do. We'll guarantee you the best Baja vacation possible. You're in my home, and uh, I'll take good care of you. RanchoLanero.com, old Baja style. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, we have one of our good friends on the line right now, Mr. Dave Pfeiffer, president of Shimano. He's on the road uh, out in, in beautiful Florida after the Miami Boat Show. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, Dave. morning, Dave. Well. I just saw you in Miami yesterday. So, wh- wh- where are you? Well, I am back in Fort Lauderdale on my way home. I have uh, just enough time to say a few words before getting on my flight and finally getting back home. Oh, I bet that's a good feeling for sure, Dave. Now, uh, you're involved in CCA. You've been uh, tremendous. And Bill, I-, I know you had some questions for Dave and and, and why his involvement are here. Yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, Dave, you've articulated so well why uh, why you and Shimano wanted to be a part of this effort, and I just thought you might share that with the listeners here. Sure, and sorry all about any background noise here, but, you know, I mean, it's really pretty simple. The CCA is a professional national organization. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, they know how to get things done. We've been associated, Shimano and, and, and I have been associated with CCA in one way or another for an awful lot of years, and, and it just makes sense. Uh, with them in California for what we're facing and what we need to do. There's such a deep uh, pool of, of knowledge and experience there for us to draw on and, and build on in California to face the challenges that, that we're facing that I think some of ours are unique and some are not unique. And, you know, I think CCA gives us the foundation for that. So I am fully confident that they're the organization that uh, not only Shimano but also me personally need to be involved in in Southern California. Well, it's it's huge uh, having uh, you know you allow us to have our board meetings there at, at, at Shimano, and uh, I think you might want to make a quick comment. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, we uh, yeah. I mentioned the uh, the after I mentioned meeting we had at the boardroom down there, and it was nice of Dave and Shimano to let us have full use of their beautiful facilities in Irvine, and uh, that's where we had our first uh, kickoff meetings for the board, and it's a beautiful location, a beautiful setting that Dave's made available to us, and. Uh, Gets us all in the room together. We enjoy a lunch at a working lunch together. We've even got the ability to, uh, uh, for grown men like us, to use colored markers and write on the wall with all of our notes and comments <laughs> and agenda and, uh, and minutes from the meeting. So, Dave, thank you for uh, for making that beautiful facility available to us. And uh, oh, that's it's great. Yeah, that's no problem at all. That's that's the easiest part of it. We uh, we all have a lot of work to do, and I and I hope everybody listening today will find a way to. Uh, to be involved in this, and, and because again, we, we have to make something work in Southern California to ensure that we can fish in the future, and that there are fish in the future. And I know you all will be talking about all the exciting things that we have planned, but that's uh, that's all of our jobs, not a few of our jobs. So uh, nope. I hope everybody listening, I'll say it again, will find some way to uh, to be involved. So. And, and Dave, you mentioned that you know, thank you. That that is the two areas of focus. It's uh, uh, that 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 there are fish in the future for us to uh, to get a shot at. And that's a big part of this effort is to conserve the resource and ensure that it's healthy. And two is that we have reasonable access to it. And both those two points you mentioned, that that is why we are here. Yeah, it, it, it completely is. I mean, nothing I think exemplifies it more than, you know, the recent you know, white sea bass fight that we've had the last several years. Um, it's been along the coast. It's been accessible to everybody with small boats, big boats. It doesn't matter. This yellowtail fishing that we have going on, this is the kind of stuff that we have to ensure not only that the fish are there, but that we can actually go do it. And, um, you know, that's uh, those are two big challenges, to yeah. say the least. So, again, we need everybody's support to uh, to make that happen for us and uh, for the next generation after it. And have access to that is, is the most important thing, too, Dave. Um, 
you you mentioned uh, Shimano American has been involved with CCA in, in various places, and they've had a lot of tremendous successes. We're going to have Pat Murray up next here to talk about that, who's the national director of, of CCA. Um, do you see – how do you see California – playing into the whole CCA. Do you see it as becoming a, a very important chapter uh, of the CCA on a national level? Well, I, certainly I, I would hope so. I think we, you know, not that it's necessarily a competition, but we have to realize that the, the, the chapters before us around the country in Texas and Louisiana and, you know, Florida, they, they've been around a long time, and, and you're talking really big, involved, active chapters that, that, you know, really, I mean, in touch with their fisheries and support and protect their fisheries and raise a tremendous amount of money to do that, you know, for us to uh, to be amongst the elite, so to speak, <laughs> we've got a big road to climb. And I'm not looking at that so much as just us getting organized and getting moving. And someday if we land amongst the uh, the elite, that would be great. But um, we realize, again, they, they, they've been around and established a long time. I think we can do it. I, I think, I think we can go there. I think we can definitely go there. Pat, Pat may have a comment on that, but we've got, uh, like I said, this incredible board. If we get the support from the public the way we're hoping for and the industry support that will be the difference this time, I think it's going to be remarkable. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'm too confident, but I think with what Pat and I have discussed, that we've got an awful lot of momentum, and uh, that with the combined with the resources we get from the national organization are going to be phenomenal and like you said i think there we want a voice i think the angling public wants something to get behind and there's been a lot of stuff that has happened over the last few years and i think somebody you know we all want to get behind a you know a well-organized machine and i think this is that opportunity indeed well, well dave I, again i i hope yeah. they show it so i hope the public shows it because i hear it a lot too and you know i've, I've the famous thing on that is look there's there's two ways to help you can help with money or time or both i guess there's three but um either way if you don't have the time you know, let other people use the money to help. If you've got the time, we need the help, too. Yeah, and at Fred Hall uh, shows, we're going to be asking for both. We're going to be asking for money from uh, our listeners, from the angling public in Southern California, and we're going to be asking for those that do have the time to volunteer uh, and help. We're going to be asking for both of those, and that's kind of the plea today is uh, we're trying to get educated on CCA and then make sure the public knows we need you. Right. We need you heavily, yeah. right? Dave, thanks yeah, for taking right. your time. Thanks, Dave. All right. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, I'm and, sorry I missed the show there today. Believe me, I'd rather be <laughs> home in sunny Southern Cal, but here I am. But, again, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to let me be on, and, and uh, I appreciate all the, the great folks that I'm working with on this and, and build your leadership. So. Uh, thank you all. Thanks, Dave. And the good news is the fish are biting, the yellows are biting, so you better get yeah. home. Hurry up. No, stop telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a safe safe flight home, Dave. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay. Thanks for Bye. taking the time this morning. All right. All right. Now we talked about him, the National Director for CCA, Pat Murray's on the line. Good morning, Pat. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Hi, Pat. How are you doing this morning? Oh, doing great. It's a, it's an honor and a privilege to to be on the radio with you all. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, uh, you just heard Dave talking about the national efforts. Kind of give us some of an idea of what CCA has done on a national level to support anglers. Sure. It's uh, as I think has already been mentioned. You know, it's been a long journey. Um, CCA has over 30 years of experience in this space, and and over a diversity of issues and places and cultures. And um, we've adapted this general model again and again um, to really bring some amazing success. And it's interesting, just I've been listening for a while, and it really struck me while I'm hearing this, the passion and intensity of everybody um, who's been on the radio and the focus to make a difference. And that's been the theme that's run through all of CCA's history. You know, when you think about our beginning in 1977 in a little tackle shop in Houston, Texas. Sounds like a fable, but it's true. <laughs> you know, 14 anglers, just like all of us on the on the on the radio right now, like all of us, got together and said, "We need to make a difference." And you know what they did? They made a difference. But it started with this passion, and I'll tell you, the passion that was in that little tackle shop is the same passion when this group comes together at the Shimano headquarters or in the radio station this morning or on the boat this afternoon. It's that power and intensity of the recreational anglers that ends up making a difference, be it in Florida or be it in Washington State. Give us an example of what those 
early days of CCA were like and uh, what you accomplished in Texas? That's a great that's a great question because what's interesting is those early days um, are really like the early days we see everywhere. Um, you know, it's they definitely didn't have the experience then. They definitely didn't have the track record. But it was folks getting together and saying, let's make a difference and let's figure out how we make a difference in this environment and in this management model. Now, in Texas, what was interesting is there was rampant gill netting, uh, gross overfishing, a speckled trout and red drum, very iconic species um, in this region. And um, a number of folks got together over, I mean, a diverse group, um, fishing guides, business owners, um, outdoor writers, all sorts of folks, um, which thematically very much the same we see in all of our states, um, particularly at the at the advent, and um, and they pooled their talents, and they also had a never quit attitude. They said, "We're going to make a difference here," and so before long, they had a ban on single strand monofilament gill nets. They had game fish status for red drum and speckled trout, and more importantly, they said, "What's next?" And that was always the key, is what's next. Because we know in fisheries, like in so many things in life, there's always a next battle. There's always a next issue. And, and these, these, these are the head scratchers to me always, is why these extreme environmental groups that target fishermen don't understand that we are very concerned about our resource and our conservation for obvious reasons. And it's amazing that the same battles that you're facing in Texas or wherever, or Louisiana or uh, across the nation, are the same battles we're facing here. No, oh, it's funny. Uh, your point is very astute, is that if you look across the history of marine conservation accomplishments, think about the, the amazing things, net bans and, and hatcheries and all sorts of restocking programs, habitat programs, pushing for good sound management – Virtually every one of those has been driven by recreational anglers. Yep, absolutely. Wow. And without recreational anglers, where would we be today? Absolutely. In the absolutely. toilet. Yeah, with, with fisheries, we'd really, really be in trouble. In the toilet with fisheries, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't think we're ever going to educate the the over the top extreme environmentalists to that fact, but you know, they do what they do. But that's why we need to be involved with CCA, right, Pat? Absolutely, and that's the thing is that sportsmen have and always will make a difference. And because we care about the resource, we care about the future of the resource, it's because we participate in it. We have that passion. We want to go teach our kids and our kids and our kids' kids that tomorrow the resources can be even better than today and we can still have access to them. And Pat, this is Bill. I just, I just wanted to thank you for the – I think you made four trips out here and the, the help that you guys have been so far – um, you know, there was a time in the past when we we looked at uh, linking up with the with the CCA, and I'll, I'll just you know just uh, admit here on the radio, I for one was not for it. Um, I didn't think that um, because uh, we didn't share the same fish, redfish and trout uh, main focus, and then other fish up the East Coast, and you know in the Carolinas you, you share a bluefin tuna, which is the same fish as that you share in the Gulf, and so we didn't share any of the same fish. And I thought, you know, I'm not so sure that that works uh, for here. Uh, but over the years, I've seen your operation, uh, got to know you, uh, seen your op- operation in so many states be so successful. And then you went to Oregon and you went to Washington. And last time I checked, there was no steelhead and trout in the uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the impact that you guys had with uh, the, the steelhead and the and the trout trout uh, uh, the steelhead and the salmon fishery up there and the the ability to help to get them on a path to get rid of the gill nets and the other thing and the guys that work up there. Have been telling me for years, Bill, you're crazy. Why don't you have a CCA in California? So I, for one, have come full circle, and um, and I've been able to witness your leadership. And you know, it, it's it's. Um, I want to thank you for it. And it's um, you know, it's, it's not a whole. I'll make an analogy with our business. Our our, our clothing business at AFCO just uh, began to explode once we went outside and and hired people from the clothing industry, uh, many of them from the surf industry that have sort of been there and done that. And uh, once you have somebody on your team that is sort of you know, dealt with an issue, um, you can charge it uh, full speed ahead without the confusion and, 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 and the fog of not knowing because when you've been there, you understand. And um, you guys have been there. You understand. And it's like, you know, you go on a fishing trip. I mean, you, you want, you're going to go to an area that you haven't been before. You want to have somebody on that boat that's been there. Yeah. And uh, you guys have been there, and I've, just, I've already witnessed the value of it, so thank you. 
Well, I appreciate those are very kind words, Bill. And and I'll tell you, um, right back to you and the whole group um, that's working together there. That really is the alpha and omega of this organization is the is the power of people and and those incredible assets that that you all um, have brought together there are what's going to make a difference. It uh, it really is the people and um, be it those fourteen guys in a little tackle shop or the twenty five guys in Shimano headquarters. Um, or anywhere um, across the across the, the the CCA footprint, it's those people that make a difference. So really, um, I thank you. Yeah, and, and that's why we need everybody to, possible to join CCA at the Fred Hall shows. Take advantage of the great offers that the that everybody's put together there at the Hall show. And Pat, I know you're going to be there, right? I am, yeah. and, uh, and I'm excited about it. Um, I've heard about the the Hall shows for years, um, just being in this space. And um, and I'll tell you, I've never been there, and so I'm going to be um, I'm going to be there. Very excited about that. Also going to be at the one in San Diego too. So um, all right, yeah, I'm thrilled, thrilled, and I'm really thrilled to meet. Um, I know all the great people that that will be there. Um, it is amazing meeting anglers across the nation, and um, it's incredible what angling does to bring out the good in people, and um, and to really garner that and cultivate it and bring those folks together. So, um, you know, you might hear an occasional y'all from me. <laughs> can't get the Texas out of me, but I'm thrilled to get out there and I'm really, really thrilled. Everyone I've met so far has been um, so powerful and so exciting and inspiring. Well, we're excited to be a part of CCA in California and really make a difference. And I, 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 we want to be the top guys. We want to be the, the leader of, uh, not that, like Bill says, it's not a competition, but we want to make our guys uh, the guys that people go and say, wow, California, man, those guys are on it. Yeah, Pat, now this is Don. Pat, uh, good morning. You've morning. Uh, kind of indicated with this group of people we've got an awful lot of momentum to uh, to build from, so I think we can uh, make ourselves worthy of being the you know a substantial chapter here in a very short time. And if you're out here for the show and you have time to uh, go out and wet a line, I'd be glad to host you and uh, maybe let you pull on some of those local yellowtail. There you go. And then hey, you can I, compare that to your red drum and, and give us your comparison. <laughs> but, uh. I, I like that. I was going to I was gonna say, my only problem with uh, with this wonderful show and gathering is, why can't we do this on a boat? Yeah, there you go. Well, in well, the morning you can. Yeah, I think we Consider can. Consider yourself welcome. So yeah. uh, that'd be great to have you out, Pat. Hey, Pat, uh, before you get off here, I'd like Don to make a comment, maybe a question or comment about the Don, the, the accounting system that um, you know you were brought on board for your integrity in, in accounting and your in your accounting uh, ability. What what do you know? You, you've worked with the CCA system now. What what do you think of their accounting system? Uh, it's been remarkable and such a confidence boost for us on the administrative side and as the um, as the officers of the organization. You know, we we typically get started at a grassroots level and you're kind of feeling things out. How do we do this or how do we set up that? And all that has been eliminated now because of national and because of the structure. And the procedures that Pat and Robert have brought to us, and and just working with their, with their financial management team back there, it's just uh, it's a recipe that they've given us, cool. and all we got to do is follow the recipe, and all the heartaches and all the learning curve will be eliminated, and that's exactly what's happened so far, and we just hit the ground running on on day one. Fantastic, that's cool. what uh, yeah. somebody that's already, it's already done. They've exactly done it. Right. They've, they've been there, done that. It's a proven and formula, Pete. It, it works yeah, great. It works. Yeah. So join CCA at the Fred Hall shows, and Pat, we'll see you there. Hey, I'm excited about it. All right, we are too. Thanks for taking time to be with us this morning. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you all. All right. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat. (laughs) That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump into those phones. They're jam-packed, and guys have questions. You got it, man. Why don't we start it off this morning with Martin, who's calling us from North Hollywood this morning. Martin, and thanks for getting us started here with Let's Talk Hookup. Listen, how can I not be excited when there is a, a situation that people don't just understand without recreational fishermen and the ability to control who catches what in the ocean, do they know what the price of fish would be? They're crazy people out there. (laughs) I'm so happy to hear and be on the phone this morning with you guys. It's unbelievable. I've only been fishing since 1932. (laughs) That's That's all. Well, Martin, are you going to be able to come to Fred Hall shows and join CCA? Without a doubt. There's no doubt about that. All right. That's well, awesome. thank you for taking I'm time. I'm on my way now. <laughs> All right. Well, great, Martin. We sure appreciate your time, and we'll see you at the show. Thank you very All much. All right. Thanks for joining us. All right. How about next up? We talk to Paul. Paul's calling us from Glendale this morning. Paul, thanks for joining us here this morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, Paul. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Question is, 
Who writes these laws? Where do they get their info? What I mean, some of the crazy closures that I've experienced, it, it's just asinine. Well, How you, does this all come about? You get crazy closures from a crazy state, and we all have to agree <laughs> and understand that California is a crazy state. Land so of fruits and nuts. It is the land of fruits <laughs> and nuts. So, we've, you know, we've got a complex system in this, in this state between uh, uh, the legislature, the, the California Fish and Wildlife, the, um, the, um, uh, the, 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 the Coastal Commission actually sticks their nose into fisheries issues that they, they, they probably shouldn't be involved with, and then the Fish and Game Commission. So it comes from a whole variety of... Uh, of folks that really don't understand fishing, don't understand that recreational fishermen have been the, the true conservationists in this state. And so that's why we need a CCA is to better educate the, uh, the, the various decision makers that uh, come down with rulings that may not make sense, not only for fishermen, but actually uh, and oftentimes don't make sense for the resource itself. So that's the whole purpose of why the CCA thing needs to succeed in California so that we can better impact all the craziness that you refer to. Yeah, indeed. And uh, join CCA at the Fred Hall Show. You'll be most rewarded by doing that, not only from a monetary standpoint of the things that are going to be given away, which we'll hear more about later on the show, but also this organization is going to make it happen. Yeah, we you can really, tell. This is awesome. This is the this real, this is the real deal. It's there feeling go. good. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookout coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information, more great call-ins, catch reports. You stay tuned. Lots of great stuff coming up. It's Let's Talk Cookout on the Mighty 1090. Everyone likes special treatment, you know, kind of feel like a VIP. Well, that's how our listeners are treated at Poway Valley Collision. I have personally heard of several stories of how well our friends Jim and Mary take care of their customers that we sent them. Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them today, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And listen to this. Our listeners get a special discount that can save you hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. Just tell them you listen to the show and you get the deal. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, Met life wawanisa and more just bring your car or truck to them and let poway valley collision do the rest i've had my truck repaired at poway valley collision and the job was perfect so get your vehicle fixed right at poway valley collision tell them you listen to let's talk hookup and they'll save you money on your repair poway valley collision 14211 garden road in poway check powayvalleycollision.com it's time for our power pro 60 second seminar your next fishing trip be sure to get the power for advantage you know it's long range season you know, you hear about the Royal Players out there hammering the big fish mm-hmm. out there on the hurricane, and they are using Power Pro Hollow Ace for well, the, that job. The whole thing about this is the 60 second seminar and Power Pro Advantage, and that's what Hollow Ace is. It's an advantage over other Hollow Spectras, both in that it's very comfortable to fish with, and it's a 16 carrier line, and the, basically the, the stranding is tighter, there's more strands in the weave that allows you to make those insert style connections better. They're easier to do, they hold better. Uh, Power Pro is a thin diameter spectra per the line test, so you get more line on your reel. All those things are the advantage that make that hollow ace the better line. Yeah, and, and, and once you get into it, it's such an easy job. You can pre-make your wind-ons, or you can just do it on the spot. Yeah. Power Pro Hollow Ace is that easy. So check it out, Power Pro Hollow Ace, at your favorite tackle store. Check out PowerPro.com. It's Fred Hall Show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. You'll find the most complete selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including Cousins, building classic tackle based on five decades of experience. Cousins builds the perfect rod for your style of fishing with over 120 designs and actions. See the newly designed Cousins booth right across from us. The Fisherman's Landing Tackle staff is using the gear and knows your needs. Come see our best booth ever. Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must-visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. Fisherman's Landing has been the choice of sport fishing anglers for decades with the largest fleet of long-range boats worldwide. Complemented by Southern California's finest charter and open party fleet. Now is the time to book your long-range trips and charters, plus half-day trips aboard the Dolphin. Go to Fisherman'sLanding.com and see trip availability and even book your trip online. Stop by or call Fisherman's Landing in San Diego and book now at Fisherman'sLanding.com. This is AM 1090 AM, Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. To a home run, Kemp again. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hey, as promised, it's time to find out what's biting on the water. 
Today, the Catch Report sponsored in part by Dana Landing on Mission Bay. Hey, the Dana Landing booth at this year's Fred Hall Long Beach Show is actually four in one with a combination of four corporate booths within the major Dana Landing booth. That means you're going to have four times the savings in one spot. You're going to get to check out Maui Jim, Olakai, Fishworks, and the Salty Crew, all going to be on hand at the Dana Landing booth. What a booth. team. All oh, right. Yeah, it's going to be an wow. awesome booth. Very, very cool display, too. You get to kind of peruse through all of these major manufacturers, see virtually everything all of these people have all available to buy, which that's the beauty of it. A lot of times, uh, say a Fishworks or a Salty Crew or a, or a Maui Gym or, or, or a Olakai, you know, you usually don't get to see all the products and be able to take advantage of buying them right there in one spot. And that's exactly what's going on at the Dana Landing booth. It's going to be a very, very cool booth at this year's Fred Hall Yeah, show. so check it out. Dana Landing at Fred Hall Long Beach. And let's start with Brian Willie. Dana Worth Sport Fishing. Good morning, boy. What's up, Brian? Wait, i got to hit the button. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How about hey, now? You are. What's up, oh, Brian? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Brian. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. Hey, you know, we had a bit of a mixed-up week up here at Dana Wharf. Uh, you know, the week started off pretty strong, kind of like it has been the last, you know, couple months with that yellowtail fishing. We had some really good days at the beginning of the week. Then that wind kind of blew a little bit, and, uh, you know, kind of dampened the conditions. The water greened up a little bit. Not seeing as much life in the water as far as, uh, you know, feed for the yellowtail and stuff like that, which in turn has kind of moved some of those bigger schools out of that area that we've been fishing. So it's been a little bit harder to, to locate that fish. You know, it's kind of gone MIA a little bit. You know, we, we're finding little pieces of it and able to, you know, chase it down. And it's been real racy. It's been hard to get on. So, you know, you've kind of seen that stuff drop out of our accounts. We had a few fish in our account yesterday for our effort, but uh, certainly we're hoping that stuff bounced back. Uh, you know, here this coming week. So we've been splitting our time. You know, we've been looking for that yellow in the morning or, you know, with the tide working in our favor, and then we've been pushing the anchor over and catching some sculpin. You know, it's kind of been a, a rude awakening for the passengers, but let's face it, that's more of what we would be fishing this time of the year, what we have been fishing in years past. And the yellowtail has certainly been a shot in the arm and a good bonus for us. So in the half-day stuff, you know, fantastic weather. The bass fishing, as you can imagine, has been really good for uh, for the people that have been wanting to hop on the half-day. Um, you know, right along the edge of the kelp, 62, 63 surface temp, um, some good sardine fly line action and, uh, you know, good sand bass and calico bass fishing there as well. So things are rolling. You know, we, we got the halibut derby still. There's still some spots on the leaderboard. Um, so we're hoping to get a few more people with some fish on that and get a chance to, uh, you know, buy for the big chunk of money and that fish off coming up here. You know, the, the top fish at the leaderboard is 21 pounds, which is certainly a good fish. But, Ooh, uh, that's a nice I, I'm thinking some. Something bigger is going to sneak in there and bump that 21-pounder off the board, which is you know, we've seen fish over 40 in the top spots over the last few years. So I, I imagine that's going to happen there, Very too. Very so. doable. Totally doable. Absolutely. So, hey, we're running trips. We're going to do what we can to stay on top of that yellow till this week. Uh, you know, we saw the water start to clean up pretty good yesterday on the uh, incoming tide. So we're we're hoping that continues through the week. So we'll see what happens. If you guys want to hop on a trip, we'd love to have you out there with us. Uh, you can check us out on the web at DanaWharf.com. You can link us also right through the Less Talk Cookup webpage. There's a banner out on the front page that'll save you a few bucks on a local trip with us there, either three quarter day or half day. And of course, if you want to see what's going on and need questions answered and what to bring on the boat, you can call the landing office at 949. 949- Four nine six five seven nine four, and they can help you out that way. Right on, Brian. Great report as always. Great fishing going on there, and like you said, the beauty of it that yellowtail. Not only was it a, a cool bonus, but we've got a very good week of weather coming our way too. Wouldn't be the least bit surprised to see that just climbing right up, right back up in the catch ports. Absolutely. Great report, Brian. Appreciate it. We we'll look forward to talking to you next week. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for all you're doing. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Brian. Appreciate that. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch report today. Sponsored in part by Job Site Supply Company, specializing in the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing trades. Come see the full line of Louisville ladders at Job Site Supply Company. Plus, they have a really cool deal. Basically, they have the exclusive logo lock system in house. It allows you to take your company's logo or your company name and embed it directly, permanently into the uh, fiberglass to deter theft of the ladder. So you can have your, uh, you know, the name of your construction company or whatever as a part of the ladder embedded in the fiberglass it's going to help you know detour theft it's going to help you keep organized of your your tools on the job site it's a very cool thing so for more information check out job site supply uh, dot, uh co, uh, dot com. so job very very cool co.com and I, I wouldn't be surprised you know as hardcore fishermen as the guys at job site suppliers they probably put their boat name in the ladders right <laughs> that's really cool yeah. the guys are very very cool guys and they're fishermen just like us and and run an awesome awesome yeah, company there so. so your construction guy called job check site them supply. out yeah absolutely no question about it hey i want to make mention uh 
Bill, that uh, CCA California needs a director, right? Yeah, absolutely. Our, our two, two beginning goals were to uh, put together the proper launch at the Fred Hall Show, which we'll talk about later. That's in place. And two was to raise the money and find, uh, find the proper executive director. Uh, there's no way that this kind of effort can be sustained with volunteers. And to date, we've done a lot with volunteers just because we've got a lot of great people. But the problem is you can't sustain that. Yeah. So we've got to have a professional staff. Yes. And um, that's um, a professional uh, paid staff. A professional paid staff. That's, yes. that's correct. Yeah. And so uh, one and of Pat, the Pat, for example, uh, Pat Murray, who you, you just heard, is the national director and has been involved with CCA for a number of years. He's a, he's a paid staff with CCA and a very professional, as you can hear, and really knows his stuff and, and works his tail off. Mm-hmm. It, absolutely, but every state has got their paid staff in the state. So each one, e- each state does. So we set up a website, and uh, there, 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 there is somebody who's listening to this uh, um, this program this morning that is the right guy to run as the executive director of the CCA California as the professional paid staff, and um, uh, we're we're looking for you. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. what we'd like like if somebody is interested in applying for this job, and to learn more about the details of it. We'd like you to uh, to email edsearch at joincca.org. Edsearch, edsearch at joincca.org. So uh, that's executive director search. That's executive director search. Yeah. Edsearch. Uh, edsearch at at joincca.org. Joincca.org. Uh, I, I know you're out there. We need you. Yeah. There's an opportunity for you. And uh, so give some thought. You may be in a total other profession. Yeah. Uh, but if, if, you, if you don't know if you're qualified for it, send in a resume, and we'll tell you whether you are or you are not. You want to make a career move? This is a serious career move and uh, need somebody who's got great communication skills. As, as you can hear, you just heard Pat. We need, we need a Pat. Right. right. We need a Pat Murray. Yep. So a guy that really knows his stuff, has great communication skills, and has a, a passion and desire to, to, to save California fishing. You'll have a board of directors, the capable people, that will, will help direct your, 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 your actions and your efforts. We'll define the goals and the path that, it, uh, that we're going to want you to drive on. So there will be a lot of support around you, but we need somebody to, uh, to carry those, uh, those activities out. You bet. Okay. So it's edsearch at joincca.org. That's it. Okay, there you go. Looking for you out there. So come on. Bring it. (laughs) Let's go ahead and jump into the phone. You got it. The phone lines are definitely getting packed up. How about this time we talk to John, who's called us from Huntington Beach this morning. John, good morning. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I had the uh, good fortune to be a member of the um, United Anglers of Southern California for many years. Um, How is this organization uh, going to use our our volunteers, our recreational fishermen, um, what could we do to help out? Okay, that, that, that's a great question. I'm, I'm glad you, you, you mentioned United Anglers of Southern California. Uh, United Anglers of Southern California did some tremendous work. Um, it was formed uh, really originally to help uh, support Doris Allen with the gillnet ban. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it also led the effort to uh, make sure that long lines uh, weren't allowed to establish itself in Southern California and uh, had been the, the entity that uh, provided the support to the Hub Sewer Research Institute for its white sea bass program and lots of other things. So uh, United Anglers did a tremendous job in large part because people stepped up to help. Um, now, what's, uh, this is not a, a, a replacement. Um, it's not a, a new effort of United Anglers. It's a totally separate new, new effort that will – many of the people that help with United Anglers are going to help with this, but I think the – opportunity we have here is for um, a lot wider range of people to step up and help, and they are. You're asking the right question, what can you do? You can, uh, you can, <coughs> excuse me. You can start with, uh, with joining CCA. That's uh, $30. Um, you also can, um, uh, can look to, uh, to start a chapter in your area. Now, the state of Texas, I think, has 100 different chapters. Wow. The, the, no kidding. The beauty of so it, CCA Texas has 100 CCA different Texas chapters. has, I believe it's 100, at least 100 different chapters in different cities and states. So a, a fishing club or an individual group, a group of friends can get together and start your own CCA chapter. Wow. Um, you then have to put on a, an activity together, help to raise funds that go to uh, the state group, and um, a, a member of your chapter then becomes a member of the board. Mm-hmm. Um, Another way that you can help immediately, and, uh, and we need it right now, is this sign-up effort at the Fed Hall shows 
uh, we need a lot more people. So Volunteers for helping sign up people at Fred Hall. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Dave Bacon, who we're going to hear from later, he's organizing that effort, and I'm going to give his, uh, uh, his, his email address now. We'll give it again later, but... If you want to be part of the group that's going to help sign people up, and we, we need you know we, we need well over 100 people. Yeah. So if you want to help, here's a perfect opportunity. You can um, email captain at wavewalker.com. That's captain at wavewalker.com. That'll get you directly to Dave Bacon, who is putting together the schedule of the people for both uh, Long Beach and Oceanside that are going to uh, help sign people up. Uh, Long Beach and Del Mar. Long Beach and Del Mar. Yeah, right? yeah, for the for the two Fred for the two shows. shows. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, just a little further south. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't go to Oceanside. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right, and thank you, John, for uh, being right there at the forefront for helping Absolutely. out. Absolutely, appreciate. You're you. welcome. Thanks. All right, appreciate the call this morning. And I, and I got to tell you, you know, we're going to hear more about this, but this uh, this thing that's going to happen at the Fred Hall Long Beach show with the uh, booklet worth. Uh, they Huge. said $150. And at it's least $150. At least. Yeah. At least. And opportunities to win some pretty valuable prizes. Like thousands Just of dollars. Sim- simply by joining an organization that you need to be a part of. So we're going to hear more about that. But by doing what you should do anyways, you're going to get all of this opportunity, and your money's going to go to something that's going to benefit all of us. You bet. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way, including a big block of your phone calls. It's been a very busy morning. You stay tuned. Lots of Let's Talk Cookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Call the office. Are you feeling that itch to get out on the water? Come fishing on the American Angler and reacquaint yourself with some familiar faces and make new friends. Captain owners Brian Kiyohara and Sam Patella take pride in every aspect of the American Angler operation, from their loyal and trusted crew to the sashimi-grade fresh fish you'll take home. It's easy to find a vacation that fits your schedule. We have everything from day and a half to 10-day trips and longer. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglersportFishing.com. We want you to become a part of the American Angler family. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I've got an important announcement for all California anglers. The 37-year-old Coastal Conservation Association is coming to California. The CCA is an organization of over 100,000 recreational anglers and outdoor enthusiasts currently spread across 17 states that works to conserve marine resources and anglers' access to them. The CCA has proven time and again that anglers are the best stewards of the marine environment. Across the nation, they have been very successful in protecting the interests of recreational anglers and their access to the resources they cherish. CCA Cal is just beginning. If you join us at the Fred Hall Shows, you'll get into the show for free, receive vouchers worth over $150, and be entered into drawings worth thousands of dollars. It's the right thing to do, and it's a great value. California anglers need CCA Cal to help us protect our fishing rights and our access to fish. Come and join us at the Fred Hall Show March 4th to the 8th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Help CCA Cal protect California fishing. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing. And it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quartz. Vera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. To a home run, Kemp again. San Diego sports leader, the mighty 1090. Information is the key to success, and inside information is even better. When it comes to fishing, inside information is critical, and that's what FishDope.com delivers. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and save fuel. FishDope.com is the only SST service with a satellite oceanographic PhD on board, the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com boasts the largest 
largest code group anywhere, covering sport boats, commercial boats, and private boaters. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, good luck. Membership costs less than 40 gallons of gas for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, stay tuned for the special code to save $20 on a Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. For Rancho Leonero, here's John Ireland. We're kind of unique for the fact that I think we're really the last of the uh, old Baja fishing style hotels. It's a uh, 1,000 acres altogether, and the hotel's small. It's only a 34-room hotel. We don't aspire to be bigger. We just aspire to be better. We've been working on the ranch continually. You know, I did a half a million dollar renovation, upgrading the hotel, the bar. We put in new split air conditioning in rooms one through five. They're like an ice box inside. We did a complete new gymnasium. We've been adding boats and upgrading our boat fleet. We're constantly working on the grounds. And having my daughter down there, she's a gardener, so the grounds and everything is much better. From maintaining the rooms, putting in mirrors, putting in beds. I replaced every bed in the hotel. They're awesome beds. We have the best beds in all of Baja, not just the East Cape. People love the beds. You know, the bedding and the higher quality towels. He's trying to do it a little bit better. It's a special place. Come down and relax. RanchoLanero.com. The offshore fishing last year was some of the best we've seen in years. Let's hope our luck keeps up in 2015. It's a brand new year, and what better way to kick off a new year than with a new Ford? Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. It's easy to see why Ford is so popular. Styling is contemporary, the technology is state-of-the-art, and the fuel economy is more impressive than ever. Fusion, Focus, and Escape continue to be San Diego favorites, and the new Mustang has the entire city buzzing. You've got to check it out. Right now, you'll find the biggest savings on F-150 pickups. The last of the 2014 models are going fast. And talk about popular, Ford F-Series has been America's best-selling truck and a favorite among fishermen for almost four decades. In fact, a new F-Series truck is sold every 43 seconds. Imagine catching a fish every 43 seconds. You'd be popular, too. Start the new year in style. Stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer they'll be glad to hook you up. 